Hi, and welcome to our first episode of DIY Minecraft. Today, we will be, I will be showing you how to create a new world and how to survive your first day in a new world. So, you put, when you first get into Minecraft, you should push play. And then, don't worry about friends or servers right now. Friends and servers are more advanced Minecraft features. So, then push create new, and then you should come up with this kind of menu thing. Just push create new world. You don't have to worry about any of that other stuff. Type in what you want the world name to pop up and what you what world like what you want the world to pop up as in your menu. Then scroll down here. A seed. If you want a certain seed, type in a seed. Like this video, at the end of this video I will tell you the seed for this world if you want to play in the same world that I've been playing in. What the seed does is basically tell Minecraft how to generate the world. For now, I'm just going to leave that blank. Show coordinates turn on, because that shows you coordinates in the corner of the screen, which you can write down to remember where your spawn point is, for example, and where your shelter and other things in the world are always at those coordinates. Sort of like um, something that happens during the day. And then go to multiplayer. You can disable multiplayer game if you don't want anyone to play with you. I'll keep it enabled because we might later in here, we might invite some of my friends in here. Visible to LAN players. If you don't want people to join from Wi-Fi, disable that. But usually you want to keep most of these enabled. And then Microsoft account settings. If you want them to be able to join from invite only. Friends only. Or a friend can invite a friend. Right now I'm going to leave it on invite only. It starts at friends of friends. And then add-ons and resource packs you don't have to pay attention to yet. Those are basically like what you can use to get extra resources. Like some of my packs or like jet packs and custom lucky blocks. And some other packs that I got. So now, once you've got all the settings how you want them, push create. Not create on Realms, because Realms is a subscription service that you can use to, for example, easily invite friends without having to get an Xbox account, which I will explain in a later video. So once you spawn in this world, you'll see, most likely, you'll have some sort of thing like this. You'll have trees, most likely. And stuff. So, first order of business is to walk up to a tree, any tree, it doesn't matter what tree, and consult a, your edition handbook. And usually, for a computer, I just need to click and hold to collect, to punch, to hit things and click mine and destroy and attack with that key. And then, spacebars usually jump. Um, space for jump on Minecraft, and then um, on a phone you just tap and hold to collect wood. On a console, I don't know how you do that. I think you. It's one of the. I think it's X on most consoles. So d d go ahead, right ahead. This works on Java and Bedrock. I usually use Bedrock. And in fact, I was going to get Java at some point too. So once you've collected about six wood, push E on computer on a phone. There should be three dots, and on most consoles it's Y. So open your inventory, and you should get the screen sort of like this. So take it for so first for a phone, click this, and then click where you want it to go. For a computer, click do the same thing. And then you should get oak wood planks. Take all those planks and keep clicking until you have as many wood planks as you can get. Then over here, there should be craftable things. If you click on one, a crafting table, which is one of the things you'll need, you can click on that and then push X. Now, a crafting table is something used... Oh, sorry. I know I keep I always push E when I'm trying to walk forward. This you know the movement controls are W A S D. So place this crafting table somewhere, it does not matter at all where. 
this. I'm just going to have it right here. And if you interact with it by just tapping on a phone, by right clicking on a computer, and on a console using clicking on the right joystick, you'll get this screen, which has more items that you can craft. So first, craft some sticks. Then see to craft an axe. Then a pickaxe. Then craft a few more sticks. You might need more sticks. Then craft a sword and a shovel. Do not worry about a hoe for the moment. Because, so use a axe to mine wood base items. Like, for example, the crafting table. Use a pickaxe to mine stone, coal, and ores. Use a sword to hit mobs and kill them and use um, a shovel to mine dirt and gravel and things like that. So, so to just, you know, to switch between items and hotbars, you can use hotkeys in a computer. You, you just use the seven, for example, is the seventh slot away from the most left hand slot on the hotbar. You can also scroll left and right to um, do the same exact thing. Once you have a bit of wood, collect a few more blocks as you might may need them for um, crafting. So just use your axe for mining wood as it is faster than using your hand. And then I would say once you have about five wood blocks total, you should be good. Now, I don't see that wood blocks appear because they're a different type of wood. I have seven, and then plus two is nine. So nine's about enough. Now, go around and look for three sheep, preferably white, but if this one's black right here, and you can use your axe or your sword to kill get it so get three sheep just look around just make sure they all have to be the same color so right now i'm not this one's not black i'll get it anyway because you can also get food from them too and there's a white sheep white sheep are the most common out of all of them so these are the ones you'll want to try to get the most to attack most of the time, you use, um, quit, you just click to attack most of the time. Now, let's see. You need three of the same wool. You'll see why we're collecting wool in a second. There's a bee over there, do not be alarmed. It's friendly unless you mind their nest, so don't mind their nest is basically that mor the moral of that story. Some chickens. There's a pig. We need two more white sheep. Don't journey too far from where you started. Because if you accidentally die and respawn, then you'll have to start all over. Well, not really. You can c pick up your items at your death site. We'll cover that more later. And also, you can sprint by on, um, I don't know how, on a console. You can, it's faster than just using W. For a computer, use control to start sprinting. For a console, push the joystick forwards two times in quick succession to go forwards. And for, um, and for a phone or a pocket, a device, Push the forwards button twice in quick succession. And then you should be going faster than you normally will. Here's the downside though. There's this hunger bar, which is those like food points in the side of the screen. That's the, the downside is because those decrease when you sprint that fast. So anyways, you don't want to spend too much time out here. So now let's use a, a shovel. And just use your shovel and mine the blocks into like a shelter sort of thing. 
you'll see why why you need a shelter is because there's usually moths. If you come across one of these blocks, use a pickaxe to buy it. Pickaxes mine those kind these stone blocks a lot faster. And stone is more useful than wood. I'll go over some stone recipes in a minute. Oh, and also if you break out the top, you will in your inventory. Every time you break dirt, you'll have some of that. So you can put it in your hot bar, then push the hot key for the dirt, place it in the spots where it grew, and then um, you'll be good. So now let's take out a, a crafting table in the second slot. Let's take out the crafting table. And we need eight blocks of cobblestone. You get this for mining stone. So this floor right here is granite. So this right here is stone. Right next to my crafting table, that's actually stone. So I'm gonna actually mine around my craft table and get some of this stone. Oh, there's more stone right here. And maybe we'll mine down a little. And then we'll replace this box with some dirt. Instead, so that we still will have a floor right there. This one won't be. Okay, so now let's check in here. We have nine cobblestone, which makes me can make this furnace. Take out the furnace and then put it in your hot bar. And then place it like that. Well, for some reason I can't. Oh my gosh. Well, not like that. Make sure you don't place it like that because it's supposed to have a texture that I did not place. See, it should look like that if you put placed it right. Now, in my inventory, in your inventory, put some logs on either side of those squares, and it should start to it should make the room look brighter all of a sudden. Use the make some doors. You'll see. So now go outside your shelter. I'm gonna also increase it a little bit. And use these doors and place them from the outside of your shelter. Now the sun setting. If the sun setting, that means you should go outside and close the door behind you. Oh, it looks like our furnace is done, which means we have two charcoal. Interact with your crafting table and make some torches. But place them on the walls of your shelter. Now. You should be pretty good for tonight. If you did manage to craft, find three wool, then let me just show you what you should do. You should search bed, and then you'll be able to make a color of bed out of the wool that you found. So if you have three black wool, make a bed, a black bed. If you have three gray wool, make a gray bed, light gray. If you have three white gray wool, make a light gray wood. And most commonly, you'll probably have three white wool, so make a white wool bed. Okay, thank you for watching today's episode. Th thank you for watching, and um, please stay tuned for the next episode, which will which will be in a few days. Just one more thing before we leave today. See this molten? Place it in there. You should smelt this because your hunger bar, which is the thing, in the the top left corner, well, sort of the top left corner, it appears right over that green bar over your hot bar, and it looks like, like, um, like turkey on a stick. To restore that, take some cooked meat, like cold tomato, and use it as it, and then you right click on a computer or use it, like you know what I mean by that. And you should eat it, and it will restore that hunger bar. Why you want to keep your hunger bar full is because if your hunger bar is not full, you won't restore health. And if um, and if your hunger bar is lower than half, then you can't sprint either. So, bye for today. That was today's episode. Thank you for watching. Today's episode on... Thanks for watching today's episode on how to survive your first night and create your first world. Thanks for watching. Bye.